I promise to share our statistics about downloads and a whole bunch of other stuff at the Startup Hustle podcast, and that's what I'm gonna do in this video. When I decided to film a TV show about all things Startup Hustle and our lives as entrepreneurs, I had to become really transparent. And part of that transparency is with advertisers or potential partners and sponsors, because they all want to know how many downloads did you get? What are people listening to? Where are they from? So that's what I'm going to get into. Now, before I tell you how many downloads we had in the entire year of 2020, I want to say thanks to anybody and everybody that has participated in this. I want to start with the production team at Full Scale, uh, the writers, the people who do research, the editing, all of it, uh, in order to publish five days a week, which we are now doing, that requires a lot of work. And we've got an amazing team of people that make that happen. So thank you there. Also, listeners and guests, uh, man, you know, it, it, it's a two-way street when it comes to having a conversation about someone's entrepreneurial journey. That's exactly what we do on the show and exactly what we're going to continue doing. So thank you to all the guests and all the listeners and everybody that helped make that happen. All right. So in 2020, the Startup Hustle podcast got 718,000 downloads during the course of the year. That is really exciting because the audience size more than doubled from January until December. So in January, we were getting, in the first quarter, roughly 35,000, 40,000 downloads. Uh, that was about the speed and pace of those first few months. And over the last, uh, the fourth quarter and most of the third quarter, we averaged more around 75,000 downloads a month. So definitely increased the overall size of the audience. In regards to episodes, we had a few that really stood out. Uh, Becoming a Leader was the most popular podcast of 2020. That was myself talking to a cyber security expert named Rick Jordan out of Chicago. Uh, the next two entries were created by Joel Johnson and myself and as part of a four part series about marketing and digital marketing. Uh, the Rick Jordan episode got about 3,500 downloads at 3,477 to be exact. The marketing, digital marketing ones were uh, over 3,000, 3,200 range. In fourth place was early stage startups lessons. That's where I got a chance to sit down with Toby Rush and talk about many of the important lessons that we and he had learned from early stage startups. And in fifth place, was Kristen Thomas in her second appearance on Startup Hustle with Sex Coaching 201. That's also been a huge hit on our YouTube channel. It has thousands of views there. So if we were to take that into consideration, Kristen Thomas might be the overall champion when it came to people engaging on YouTube as well as the podcast. So those were the top five episodes. This next stat is one that's really humbling and exciting at the same time. In 2020, People from 177 different countries listen to Startup Hustle. Wow. That has continued to be something that amazes me. And it's, it really is just, it's humbling. There's only like 200 countries in the world. So that's a pretty good statistic. And we're really proud of that. Now, out of the 718,000 downloads that we got, 627,000 were from the United States. In second place is Canada with 12,000, and in third place is Australia with 10,895. The United Kingdom just fell shy of 10,000 lessons with 9,994, with Germany being the fifth place finisher at 4,861 downloads. The Startup Hustle podcast is born is created and has been centric around Kansas City and its entrepreneurs. Although in the third and fourth quarter, we branched out, we started doing episodes, uh, naming the top startups in different cities and finding entrepreneurs from all over. That said, California is the number one state for listening to Startup Hustle. 98,000 total downloads from the state of California. Next, Texas, 60,000 downloads. Florida in third place with 44,000. 
Missouri and Kansas bring up fourth and fifth place with 33,000 downloads apiece. So even though we are in Kansas City, getting lessons from everywhere. The California thing doesn't surprise me. There's 60 million people in that state and it is a mecca of listenership when it comes to startups. The same thing with Texas. So pretty excited about that. Let's talk about what cities people were listening to next. While Kansas and Missouri came in fourth and fifth when it came to overall listeners for Startup Hustle, which doesn't surprise me, that's a population thing. Kansas City is easily, without a doubt, number one when it comes to the cities that we were listening to. And New York City, Atlanta, LA, and Dallas bring up the, the second through fifth places. And Kansas City more than doubles New York City. So while the state totals didn't compete with places like Texas and California, the city definitely dominated by KC. So thank you, that's our hometown. Appreciate all the other cities and other places that gave us a lot of lessons as well. One thing that I wanna throw out there that might be useful for other people that are starting podcasts or, or would like to or trying to boost theirs, 90% of our lessons come from the Apple Podcast app. We were aware that that's the place that most people listen to podcasts. And with that, we have made our advertising centric towards iOS users when we do promotions. Part of the reason for that is when you, op when you click a link in an ad on an iOS device, an iPhone, and you click one that leads to the podcast app, it opens the app right up. Uh, when you are advertising to people that are not using iPhones, you open up a whole world of places that people can listen to your show. And it makes it really difficult to take steps out of the process of getting someone to a place where they can listen or click subscribe. So overwhelmingly in 2019 and 2020, we have made our advertising centric around the iPhone, iOS devices, and the podcast app. So it is not surprising that 90% of our listens are coming from something related to Apple. At the beginning of 2020, our goal was to get to 100,000 downloads a month for our average listenership. We fell a little short of that, and we're currently averaging you know, 75,000 a month, and that's the fourth quarter of 2020. We do expect to see that growth, um, added interest from Startup Hustle TV, continuing to grow our audience, all of that are hoping, we're hoping contributes to the channel's growth. Once again, thank you so much for all your support. I hope you found these stats interesting and informative. I'm hoping to give you an even better update next year.